probably the most unpopular presidential candidate at this point, and really just over the course of this entire election cycle, even before Trump got in, decided to employ his older brother, former President George W. Bush, for his campaign, and he was campaigning for him today. And then listening to this story and sort of becoming familiar with it, I just can't wrap my mind around how he would conceive that it would be a good idea to send his brother, who is not popular to any extent, wasn't popular when he was in office, out to campaign for him when popularity is probably the biggest thing in terms of this election cycle. You, know, you want to get elected, you want people to like you. And I guess he figures that more people like his younger brother than him, or his older brother, my mistake. He just doesn't want to be the little, the little bush that couldn't, and that's what he's gearing up to be. Now there, there have been talks that South Carolina is different from the rest of the the, the country, in that they're, uh, you know, they have strong military ties and certainly want to have a person in office who has a hawkish stance or maybe just they want to feel safe under. Obviously, I can understand that. But what I don't get is how you have individuals who will say, okay, I liked how the older Bush was. Let me look at the younger Bush. Because when you do that, you're really just going off the fact that the two are brothers. And to Bush's credit, Trump has employed that method more than him of just kind of throwing it in his face. Oh, this is who you're related to. And for that, he's incorrect. But you can't escape comparisons of that nature when your brother was in the highest office in the entire country and you're running for it as well you know it just it just comes down to the fact that this is a absolute and total utter stupidity and I just can't wait until was it Saturday the 20th when we get to the voting and he's in, there was only six people now, but I, I don't see him getting in, in third place. I see him in either second to last, right before Carson, who, if I remember correctly, is also over there. It just makes no sense to me. Just, just stop. Just get out. I think this will be the end of his and Carson's campaign, but, you know, that's a, that's a whole other story. We'll, we'll see.